Hey there, I'm Madison from the marketing department here at Greg Distributors. Welcome back to Gear Up with Greg's. Today, we're going to be strapping in and going over the basics of a familiar product, the snap strap. Snap straps, or tarp straps, are rubber restraints used most often to tension a cover or tarp over a load, especially on a flatbed truck. They are not, contrary to popular belief, to be used for securing a load. According to the CCMTA, bungee cords and tarp straps are not suitable for use as tie-downs. However, they may still be used as supplementary restraint for lightweight cargo and equipment to help keep things from shifting or to keep them organized. Now, the type and size of strap you need depends on the size of your cargo and type of tarp or cover being used. After all, securing a cover is vital and the last thing you want is it flapping in the breeze or flying off on the highway. Another thing you'll want to keep in mind when choosing a strap is the climate you'll be using them in. There are two basic styles of snap strap, EPDM rubber and natural rubber. EPDM is a synthetic rubber that is typically used in warmer climates, since it has more elasticity and is able to resist dry rotting, which often occurs in the heat. Natural rubber handles lower temperatures and resists breaking better than other types. So it's often preferred in colder climates. It has a lower freezing point and will generally stretch further than the alternatives. We have several different styles of snap straps here at Greg's, and we're going to start by talking about the snappy hookers. I know, I know, the name is just so darn catchy. But a memorable name isn't all that makes these straps stand out. Designed with Canadian winters in mind and produced right here in the Great White North for more than 35 years, these heavy-duty straps are resistant against both UV and cold weather cracking. In fact, they're good all the way down to negative 45 degrees Celsius. And better yet, the EPDM rubber is injection molded, not compression molded. But what's the difference? Well, the injection molding process involves both high temperatures and pressures used in combination to form injected material. While compression molding uses preforms, pieces of material that are close to the shape of the end piece that are then heated and compressed until the rubber is cured. There are a lot less defects in injection molding, which means that these straps are quality made. Next up are the high-vis snap straps. These bright straps are made from EPDM rubber with excellent UV resistance and an operational temperature down to negative 45 degrees Celsius. They have a consistent and easy stretch, making application a breeze. And since they're so bright, they're easy to see from any distance, even in low light situations. Now, the standard rubber snap straps are perfect if you're looking for an economical solution with a low temperature rating of minus 50 degrees Celsius. Ranging from nine inches all the way to 41 inches, these sturdy straps are great for fleets or large scale applications, where you need to have plenty of them on hand. Even better, replacement S hooks are available, so you don't have to ditch the strap just because a piece of hardware goes missing. Finally, are the Northern Link snap straps. These cold weather snap straps are made from an extra flexible blue natural rubber that's perfect for those Arctic temperatures as low as minus 55 degrees Celsius. They resist UV, oxidation, cracks, and abrasion, so you know they're built to last. And with a wide range of sizes, they're great for a variety of cold weather applications. Despite the sturdiness of these straps, all rubber inherently wears out over time, whether from UV exposure, being bombarded with snow and rain, or fluctuating temperatures. The signs will start to show. 
So, always make sure to inspect your snap straps before you hit the road. If the strap looks like it's seen better days and is showing any signs of cracking, cuts, tears, blistering, or other damage, replace it. When applying snap straps to a load, you always want to make sure you're wearing the proper PPE. Protective eyewear is a must, since you're putting tension on something that could potentially snap back and cause a lot of damage. A good rule of thumb is that if you need to use excessive force when applying a strap, it's better to find an alternate strapping solution, such as ratchet straps. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to snap to it and hit the road. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment down below or contact us through social media. Or you can visit our website at gregdistributors.ca. Again, I'm Madison, and from all of us here at Greg's, have a great Canadian day.